It's been more than 24 hours since a private jet fell out of the sky into this hangar. But tonight, we finally have an idea of what this crash has cost our community. It's right here in these faces. 10 people were killed, and these are some of the victims. Now, we don't know why the plane crashed, but we do know how. It took off from the Addison Airport, and almost immediately, the wing tilted. The plane veered left, then went down into that hangar. The NTSB says it may be more than a year until we get definitive answers, but right now, they're looking through this voice recorder, searching for clues. Jobin Pettiker is live with more about those victims. What can you tell us, Jobin? Well, today has been a tough day for a lot of people here in this DFW community, most of them hearing this news for the first time and also seeing the names and the faces. It is much harder when you see their faces. The victims of this crash Sunday, their names, their pictures, slowly circulating their communities. With it, words of condolences. This is the yacht the Ellards had docked and ready in Florida, ready for the eight people who did not make it. Brian Ellard, a CEO turned artist and sculptor and part owner of Mille Lear, an Italian restaurant in Dallas. His wife Ornella and their two kids, Alice and Dylan Meritato. Alice would have been a sophomore at John Paul II in Plano. Dylan was at All Saints Catholic. The Catholic Diocese writes, As a community, we are saddened at the tragic loss of all who perished in the crash and offer special prayers for their families. Steve Thielen and his wife Gina were also on board. Steve was the managing director at JLL, a real estate company. The company writes, Our deepest and most heartfelt sympathies go out to Steve and Gina's family and friends during this difficult time. Steve was a valued friend and colleague to all of us, personally and professionally. They will both be deeply missed. John and Mary Titus, we now know only through a heartfelt message through tennis competitors of Dallas. Mary Titus served as the mixed league director there. The president writes, We are shattered by this loss, as I know many of you who knew the involved families are as well. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins also identified Matthew Palmer, a 28-year-old, as a victim. Palmer identifies as a pilot. By the hour, we are learning more about these victims, stories of philanthropy and sincerity. Sadly, now also shared in tragedy. So the Catholic Diocese of Dallas has also put out this statement saying that people who are in mourning are encouraged to attend mass at 9 a.m. on Wednesday at All Saints Catholic Church in Dallas. Chris, back to you. Thank you, Jim.